Okay, friends. Uh, today we have taken topic agriculture, and tomorrow I'll cover retail, so that uh, topics will be uh, over. Uh, regarding agriculture, I have taken care of the agriculture policy of our bank. At the same time, I have uh, taken all the circulars came from October 2022 to October 2020. 21 to 22. Okay. Last one year I have covered. Okay. It is this presentation is exhaustive. If you are thorough with this presentation, I hope whatever questions examiner ask with regard to agriculture, you can cover in the examination. Okay. Let us go to the oh, started. Okay. So the just number I have given, this is 173 by 22. Anywhere any ambiguity is there, you can very well refer the agriculture policy of our bank. That is 173 by 22 circular. Okay. So agriculture workforce, you know that now 60% dependability is there. That is there in the policy. And uh, the growth in agriculture improved to 3.90% in the year 2022. These are the two numbers. 60% anyway, you will remember. 70% while we, and we are studying, now it is 60. 3.90 is the improved growth, growth. Then coming to turnaround time. Within how many days a KCC has to be sanctioned? This is a very, very important question for examiner purpose. KCC or agriculture, any loan, KCC is very important. Up within 15 days, branch has to sanction the loan. Two, three times after this question. That is the reason I am telling this for knowledge purpose. All agriculture loans up to 25,000, also 15 days, about 25,000 within 30 days. This is a general guideline. This is very specific to KCC. And important is KCC. Service area norms. See, one branch manager can sanction how much distance. That is called, you can say, service area. Okay. Branch manager can sanction 30 kilometers. For your exam, 30 kilometers is the key answer in their command area for all priorities. See, priority sector class I have taken. Bank, even the agriculture policy, bank never said agriculture. They said all priority sector loans. That means even micro, small, medium, okay, any loan, whatever comes under priority, up to 30 kilometers, branch manager can sanction. Then above 30 kilometers, branch manager has to take permission from RO head. Please keep in your mind. Again, I am telling the people who are attending first time, please don't write anything. I will share my presentation to you. Please concentrate on the class so that you will understand the concept. Just you have to retain the answer what I am saying. So that once the class is over, some quiz also we will take so that you can answer the quiz. After that, anyway, you can read my presentation. Then, chief manager and above. If a branch scale 4 is adding VLB, then even beyond 20 kilometers also, he can sanction. Chief manager is having powers to go any distance but not, not small, medium, large branch managers. Then insurance in agriculture loan is waived up to 50,000 rupees. This is also important. 50,000 insurance you can waive. When you're working in the branch also, you must know this. Then bills and vouchers waiver. So whatever loan you have disbursed, that bills and vouchers you have to take to ensure end, end use. Okay. For that bank said in agriculture, up to 50,000 can be waived. But you have waived but within 15 days, you have to go to visit, post visit and ensure that whatever amount you have given, whether the assets created or not, you have to ensure. In banking language, they say ensuring of end use. Okay. Within 15 days, you have to check whether whatever amount you have given, whether it is utilized for the purpose or not. But up to 50,000, you can waive, but you have to do a post sanction within 15 days. Then development loans, if you are giving under agriculture, up to 2 lakhs can be waived. Normal agriculture loans is 50 but you are giving a development loan under agriculture, up to 2 lakhs also you can waive. Same, post sanction visit within 15 days, you have to ensure. Then, there is some other point, obtaining document proof for sanctioning loans for agriculture allied activities is waived up to 1.6 lakhs. This is very important. When you are giving a allied activities loans, like uh, allied activity I discussed, you know, poultry, dairy, beekeeping, when you were giving such loans, Documentary proof is he can waive up to 1.6 lakhs where movable assets are created. This is ANBC. Actually, I have explained very uh, detailed when I am taking a CRM class. So here, I don't think it is not required, but examiner never asked any question on this. But for your uh, knowledge purpose, or if this time examiner comes, we should not miss this question. This is the chart where your RBI gives. But we cannot remember this chart plus minus plus minus. So I made this particular uh, this thing. Just one minute I'll explain. I'll skip it. This is the total bank rate in India. How much total bank rate in India? Deduct. If you deduct bills rediscounted with RBI, then you will get net bank rate. Always the definitions always says net bank rate, net bank rate. That means gross credit, total credit minus 
bills reduced according to the RBI will give you the net bank rate. From that, you can add three items and four items you have to deduct. So now you, this you remember up to here, bill reduced counted, if you deduct, you will get the net bank rate. That you have to remember. And after that, you remember only three addition part. The three additions are, you are knowing in priority sector. Number one is outstanding deposit under RIDF. See, I told you in priority class, when you are unable to reach the priority sector target, you have to keep your funds in Rural Infrastructure Development Fund of NABAD. When you are putting like that, that amount you can add to your lending because you are not lent. So you are put in Reserve Bank of India. So you can add that amount. Okay. Based on A and, a and B, C, you know, in priority, I explained now what is A and B, C, that one. Then I think priority I have taken here only. I have explained it there itself. Okay, I'll finish it. Then other investments eligible treated as a priority sector you have to add and bonds, debentures, non-SLR category. These three you should add and remaining all deduction. Okay. I think after my class is over, you can go through it. I think in my priority class, elaboratively I discussed about this particular slide. Then there are some common guidelines with regard to priority sector guidelines. Number one is priority sector guidelines will be issued by rate of interest guidelines issued by Department of Regulations, the Reserve Bank of India will issue guidelines with regard to rate of interest. Then, remember, any priority sector loan, it is a, in your mind, you should remember that up to 25,000, whatever loan you give priority, agriculture, MSME, no charges, as per Reserve Bank of India told, no bank can charge up to 25,000, no, no processing charges like that, okay? So, up to 25,000 is very important. Then, when you are giving to self-help group and joint liability groups, there are group members will be there. So here, Reserve Bank told, when, a, when you are giving a priority sector loan to SHG and JLG, the limit, this 25,000 is applicable per member, not the group. You cannot take not the group. If you have given a group at 25,000, 10 members are there. 20, for example, 50,000 you have given. You cannot charge because group is consistent 10 members. 50,000 divided by 5 became only 5,000 rupees, no charge. So, Reserve Bank told very clearly, per member you have to take, not as a group, while while calculating this particular amount of 25,000. Then, receipts, sanctions, rejections, any priority when you are rejecting. So, these electronically banks should maintain. When you have received the application of priority sector loan, when you have sanctioned, when you have rejected, when you have disbursement, all four should be available in electronic format. Because examiner can add one more thing here and they will say, remove the odd man out, which is not electronically, not to be maintained. They will give one, two, three, four, and they will add some fifth answer. So you should know these four things. Then issue of acknowledgement of loan application. These are the common guidelines with regard to priority. Now, like uh, MSME loans, agriculture also divided into short term, medium term, long term loans. This is very important for examination purpose. Bank says six months to 35 months will be called as short term loan. 36 months to three years to five years also, you can read how you remember. Three years to five years also, it is three years to five years medium term loan and above five years is long term loan. This definition is very important. The period you have to remember. You remember up to 35 months is short term because generally it starts three years. So that is the reason here I cannot put three years. That is the reason bank kept 35 months. If you remember like this in the examination, you will remember what is the answer. Short term, medium term, long term. Medium term starts at three years. Come, go back 35 months. But remember, six months is the minimum period. Okay. Six months to three years. Then loan sanctioned for construction of farmhouse. You know, na, farmhouse. Somebody will put a, in the agriculture land, somebody puts a farmhouse. So generally we think it is not an agriculture loan. Bank has, the guidelines are very clear. Whenever you are giving a loan for sanction of farmhouse, classified under priority, irrespective of the loan sanction, it is a part of agriculture development loan. Okay? It is agriculture loan only. Then, who will decide the that uh, scale of finance? In whenever you are sanctioning a KCC, scale of finance will be a important thing to analyze the account. So, scale of finance, who will decide? District level technical committee. In shortcut, they will call it as a DLTC. This is the committee will decide in every district what is the acreage finance. For example, paddy, how much 50,000 can we give or not? Or 60,000, 70,000. That amount, that is called scale of finance per acre. That will be decided by whom they will ask. Scale of finance decided by whom? District level technical committee. It's a full form. This is a shortcut. Then crop loans, crop production KCC is generally how much margin party has to bring. Remember up to 50, 50,000 margin is nil. 
okay above 160000 15 to 25 percent margin we have to put this is a very important in agriculture above 160000 you have to party has to bring 15 lakhs to 25 lakhs margin these are some different margins many times questions came from this slide you should be thorough with this particular slide and remember other than medium vehicle and other than this is medium commercial vehicles remember don't get confused if he is asking mcv or hcv high heavy commercial or medium commercial margin is 25% if he is asking other than these two other than means what light vehicles this question is light vehicle 10% your vehicle loan, retail lending, everywhere answer is 10% only. Remember, 90% value we can finance. Agriculture is also, bank has permitted to go for 90%. That is the reason they kept 10%. But big vehicles, when we are financing medium or high vehicle, then margin is 25%. These two are very, very important. Okay. Then second hand vehicles also 25%. Second hand tractors, 40% margin. Then deep sea vessels, 25, 30%. Estate purchase loans, you have to remember like this because estate purchase loans is like to just like a commercial estate. So margin kept is 50%. Otherwise, you will forget all margins. Estate purchase loan, you try to remember it's a uh, CRE type. So 50%. It's not a CRE. For making you remember, I'm telling you, estate purchase answer means 50% should be your answer. Then agriculture, somebody is purchasing land, then margin is 20%. Okay. Then agri-clinic, agri-business centers, when we are financing, up to 5 lakhs, margin is nil. Above 5 lakhs, 15-25%. Just now I told you, in agriculture also, 15-25%. This is also in case of agri-clinic, agri-business. Kisan Tatkal and Kisi Mitra credit card, margin is nil. Okay, now I explained. Now you have to buy hard the things you have to remember or you have to buy hard, no choice. Coming to charge creation, when you are giving agriculture loan, please remember up to 1.6 lakhs, up to 1.6 lakhs in agriculture finance, hypothecation of crops only we take. We cannot take mortgage of land. Please note, you cannot take any mortgage of land, mortgage of land up to 1.6 lakhs, especially I'm talking to scale one people. You should remember this because you're not practicing. You are mostly if you are not done KCC, you don't know this. Up to 1.6 lakhs, only hypothecation of crop is a security. We cannot take mortgage of land from the farmer. Then, then there are two places which you have to discriminate first. See, some places uh, like Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, all our land records of farmers have been recorded in computer. It is available online. Wherever online facility is available, land records are uploaded. Agriculture's land records are already uploaded in the computer where bank manager can create his charge in that particular land particular land so there wherever online facility is available first time telling wherever online facility is available there even up to 6 lakhs also without mortgage we can go 1.62 to 2.5 lakhs also without mortgage we can finance the reason behind is when online facility is available for example i have sanctioned a 2 lakhs loan in for telangana Telangana government has taken care about the farmers. They have already registered their land records, everything in the computer. I will go to my that package, Bhumi package or Dharani package, some package is there, I will go. I will create my charge. Canada Bank has sanctioned 2 lakhs. Then nobody can give finance. I am safe. Correct? Na? That is the reason wherever online facility is available, their bank has given the discretion to up to 2.5 lakhs, no mortgage. About 2.5 lakhs, even though I am working in Telangana, I have to go for mortgage. If you remember this concept, this entire slide is over. So up to 1.6 lakhs, no mortgage. 1.6 lakhs to 2.5 lakhs, where online package is available, government has provided, there up to 2.5 lakhs also, no mortgage is required. Above 2.5 lakhs, mortgage is required. For example, you are working in Haryana. No online facility is not available. Then up to 1.6 lakhs, the base ceiling will be applicable for you. Above 1.6 lakhs, you have to mortgage the land. I hope I am clear. This is the particular slide. Okay. Then, Pradhan Mantri, that uh, when you are giving PMMI, the Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana, if you are giving any agriculture allied activities, I told you on the MSME session also, Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana is not only for MSME loans, now CJFME is covering up to, uh, CJFME not only covering Mudra loans, they are also covering Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana, sorry, agriculture allied activities also. When agriculture allied activities, you are covering up to 10 lakhs. So the security guidelines are a little bit different. 
up to 1.6 lakhs, whatever loans you give, up to 1.6 lakhs, hypothecation of whatever prime security will be always available, compulsory coverage of CGFME. Up to 10 lakhs, everywhere CGFME will come. Don't worry. But only thing is up to 1.6 lakhs, you cannot take security. Even allied activities also. Then 1.6 lakhs, 1.6 to 3 lakhs when you are financing second slab. Then and wherever tripartite agreement with milk union is available, bank says only hypothecation of assets, prime security. That means hypothecation of whatever security you are financing and CGFME. Wherever milk union tripartite agreement is not available, then they say prime security will be there. Mortgage of landed property have a choice or CGFME coverage. Choice is available. Okay. Then 3 lakhs to 10 lakhs. Whenever you are financing for allied activities, first one is always see hypothecation of assets created out of finance means prime security. Whatever loan you hypothecation of crop, crop is your prime security. For allied activities, you have given for dairy, buffaloes. Buffaloes will be your prime security. That anyway you have to my anyway you have to take it as a hypothecation. Always that will be always available here, here, here. Okay, prime security. Then when you are giving a development activities for construction of cattle, because you are giving for dairy, na. Diary, diary, that buffalo, where it will be there? Cattle shed, cattle shed, poultry shed, fish pond. Then mortgage of land where prime activities are undertaken should be taken. Okay. Then if the leasehold rights are not mortgaged, for example, 3 to 10 lakhs when you are financing for allied activities, see, for example, you are giving for a fish pond. He has taken on lease. Then it is not possible. Then bank says 200% of the loan amount you have to take as a security. And CGFMU to be waived subject to obtaining permission from ROH. This is with regard to allied activity security guidelines. Then this is a tripartite agreement concept is there. Borrower will be there. Bank will be there. And the, the borrower, whomever he is selling, sugar industry or for example, tobacco board when he is financing, na, there will be a tripartite agreement with these people. Bank, borrower and the, the company which is purchasing your uh, farmer's material. Okay, All these three will have a tripartite. If tripartite agreement comes, any question, your answer should be up to 3 lakhs. Up to 3 lakhs, we, can't, we will not take any mortgage. Up to 3 lakhs. Generally, I said 1.6. Na? And tripartite agreement is available, even sugar cane or tobacco, up to 3 lakhs, you need not take any collateral. That means mortgage of agriculture land, you need not take. Okay. Then some specific stipulations of mortgage of landed property. Some different cases, how banks said. Here, remember... When you are giving a tractor loan or a tra tiller or a combined harvester, you have to take 100% security. Landed property equal to 100% of loan amount you have to take when you are financing for tractors. Remaining all, mostly answer is 200%. Tractor is 100%. Remaining mostly answers are 200. Kisan OD, 200%. Deep sea fishing vessels, estate purchase loans, 200% security. Leasehold rights are not mortgage, 200%. Last time this question came. Deep sea fishing vessels, how much? See, examiner thinks we will read simple, but please remember again, I'm telling tractor 100, any question to, if you are exactly, if you are not knowing the answer, more answers are here 200%. Okay. So if you remember, okay, if you are not able to remember this minimum logic, you have to remember to go to the nearest answer in the elimination process. Okay. Then purchasing of agriculture land, bank can sanction up to 10 lakhs. Only for small marginal farmers, bank will finance. Then, agri-clinic and agri-business centers. We finance under agriculture, agri-clinics and agri-business. I think I have told you what is agri-clinic and agri-business centers. Agri-clinic means their um, agriculture postgraduates will be available in the clinic. They will give advice to the farmers. What pesticide they have to use, what seeds they have. Some advisor they will. That is clinic. Then another one is agriculture business center. What business center will do is business center will have tractors, power tillers. Farmer wants na, for farming. They will hire. That is called agri-business center. So anybody is that agriculture graduates are putting this agri-clinic and agri-business security guidelines are little bit different. So what they are telling? Up to 5 lakhs. Up to 5 lakhs. Hypoth prime security will be there. Along with that compulsory you have to take CGFM. See up to 10 lakhs anyway CGFM will come. Again 5 to 10 lakhs Mortgage of uh, hypothecation will be there. Compulsory CGM will be there. One more point is mortgage of landed property if the same is available with the prime security. If it is a prime security, that land also you have to mortgage. Okay? Only three points. About 10 lakhs, fully open. Assets, hypothecate prime security will be there. 
mortgage you co-obligant you can take mortgage you can take you cannot take cgfm no? cgfm is available up to 10 lakhs only up to 10 lakhs there are cgfmu guidelines so you should remember what to be done okay then crop loans in crop loans for any genuine reasons borrower cannot mortgage the entire land which they are going to raise crops branches are permitted to grant crop loan again is the security part of land valued 125 percent of the loan amount see somebody is taking a kcc of 10 lakhs crop loan imagine okay he is giving some 20 acres land 10 lakhs loan 20 acres land he was unable to mortgage entire because i told you na, about 2.5 lakhs we have to take mortgage but in this case if party is telling sir 20 acres land is some around 2 crores you are giving only 10 lakhs why you are taking or for any genuine reason he cannot he could not able to give mortgage here bank is telling minimum if you are given 10 lakhs na 10 lakhs ka 125% that means 12.5 lakhs out of this 20 acres if he is mortgaging 12.5 lakhs of security it is enough when when there is a genuine reasons this is what bank said i hope now you will remember what is 125% answer okay then when you are giving to development activities like uh, sink well, counter, counter bonding, other fund development loans, construction of cold storages. Then also bank says value of the security post development, it should be minimum 125%. Post development means, see, he has come with some land. He has constructed something on that. It is a immovable property. After post development, the security value is becoming 125%. It is enough. When? When you are financing for land development loans. After post development, because you were giving for land development, na? development was taken place. After development, security should be 125%. Crop loans, there will be no only hypothecation of crop. So he is not giving full land. There, 125% security you have to take. Okay. Then this is uh, some other uh, thing for genuine reasons. If for genuine reasons, such as non-availability of original title deeds, the genuine reason bank has given a clear picture. What is a genuine reason? Original title deeds are not available. Then in that case, party will request, I cannot mortgage. If the borrower cannot mortgage, then we can take some alternative securities. Instead of land, we can take some alternative securities. Then if you are taking those alternative securities, what is the margin you have to stipulate? Bank has given very clearly. Okay. I don't want to read out LIC policy 10%. I hope you can read those things. But uh, never examiner never asked any question. But maybe this time he may ask. If time permits, please go through this slide. Aggregation of liability, very important slide. See, whenever you are taking for security norm, when you want to total, he has given you have given so many loans to an agriculturist. You have given some loan KCC, KOD, like the diary loan. Okay. Aggregation of all loans, if you want to total all loans for security purpose, then bank said some loans you need not take for considering security norms. For example, gold loan, biogas loan, marine fishery loan, ALLHV. These four loans you need not add for coming for security norm. For example, one agriculture has taken a KCC, okay, 1.6 lakhs, okay, KOD, for example, 1 lakh. You can add all these things for security. You have to add all these things and you have to see what is the guideline of the bank. While arriving all the loans, you can exclude some loans. These are the four exclusions they have given. Now you hope you understood gold loan, biogas loan, marine fishery, ALLHV. All these four, four loans are excluded while arriving security norms. Okay. Then rate of interest purpose for aggregation of, for the purpose of determining for rate of interest, bank said following schemes similar only be considered. See, when you are giving a gold loan, only gold loan to be taken into consideration. SHG loans, SHG loans you have to take. Pledge loans, you have to take pledge loans. Farmhouse loan, farmhouse loans only you have to add NC. Three and four wheeler loans, if you are giving those loans only in that scheme, whatever you have given, add it and see what is the rate of interest you can charge. Now we came to security norms. Security norms, you see, sometimes farmer will give land, own land he will give. Sometimes he will have a leased land also. When he is giving as a mortgage, own land and leased land, both, both he is cultivating. Both he will give security. What is the guideline? How much security we have to take? Only he is giving own land. What is the security? This is the concept. Okay. Then, wherever farmers do not have own land 
and cultivating only leased lands. Remember, only leased lands if he is cultivating. He came for a loan. He is taken, remember, only leased lands. Then bank says, prime security anyway we have to take. That is no, uh, no need to remember. Now collateral, how much we have to take? 125% of the loan amount we have to take. That is the first answer. Within that, vacant land should not be more than 50%. When? When party is giving, oh, party is having only lease land he is cultivating. See, I have taken some 100 acres lease. Party, my farmer who has given only he will not mortgage. I have to give some property of mine. In that case, how much security I have to provide to the bank? 125% of the loan amount. Out of which, vacant land should not be 50%. That means 75% I should give in the form of land and building. Some shop, some commercial property, I should give 75%. 50% I can give land. Total is 125. Out of which, 50% should be vacant land. These questions I am expecting, that is the reason I am trying to explain you so that in the examination hall, if it comes also, your mind will click, ah, this is the answer. By seeing the choice, you will come to know, yes, I remember this answer. Now, farmer is cultivating both, both own land, diesel land, both he is doing. Then what is the guideline? Same guideline, you can remember, 125% of the loan amount you have to take and vacant land should not be more than 50%. Okay, but only one exception what bank permitted. If the own land alone is 125%, if own land itself is 125%, then other collateral security need not be insisted. When when own land and leasing land is coming, same 125%, 50%. But if value of the own land itself is 125%, then you need not take any separate security. Okay, that is the guideline with regard to when farmer is giving security to you. Okay, in existing KCC loans, were sanctioned without collateral. Already you have given some KCC loan. You have not, this is a recent guideline. Earlier only 100% is required. Now it is 125%. In that case, bank told, less than, there will be less than 125 existing party. Then you can renew the limit with 120, 100% only. See, earlier guidelines, collateral is only 100%. You might have taken. Now, as a, uh, now it came for renewal. If party wants only renewal, you can do with 100%. No problem. He will not give 125%. If he wants an enhancement, okay, then you have, can take minimum 125%. Again, that 125% concept will come into picture. Okay. This is with regard to security norms. With regard to lease land, other properties he has to give. Lease land, own land, same guidelines I told you, but 125% should be. If he's giving own land 125%, no need to take any collateral security. Renewals, 100% you can do, no problem. Agriculture loans. but if he wants enhancement, same guideline, 125% will be applicable. Penal interest. Penal interest, this slide is very important because this particular point which I am discussing, penal interest, it is available in gold loan uh, policy also. Everywhere, three, four places I have seen. So examiner, if reads any of the circular, this question will come. Remember, in agriculture, all priority sector loans, up to 525,000, no penal interest. Earlier also I told you, RBI notified that up to 25,000, no processing charges, even no penal charges. Then 25,000 to 2 lakhs, 1% penal charge you have to charge. 1%. Above 2 lakhs, 2%. This is applicable in all priority sector loans. Any question comes, this is the answer. Agriculture, MSME, priority sector loan, gold loan, everywhere, agriculture, gold loan, I mean to say. Okay, all priority, same point. Up to 25,000 nil, that you will remember. 2 lakhs, 1%, above 2 lakhs, 2%. Then estate purchase loans is little bit exception up to 5,000 only nil. Above 5,000, it is 2%. Right. Then these are some exceptional points which I have added from the policy. If you are giving cooperative societies loans granted, then 1% per annum is the penal. Second charge, delay, delay in creation of EMT, second charge, then 1% penal interest. These two are only 1%. Generally, penal interest comes mostly 2% answers will be there. But 1% answers you have to remember. Again, I am repeating. 1% answers you concentrate more. 2% anyway you know. 1% you remember. Cooperative is 1%. EMT is 1%. Remaining all you see 2%. Stock statement delay, which you do in the branches also 2%. ABS not submitted, 2%. QOS, HOS not submitted. This I have discussed in... CRM policy of the bank, quarterly operating and half yearly operating statements. Even again, I will discuss in credit monitoring class, QOS, HOS. See, QOS, HOS, if there is a delay, 1% of the fund-based liability you have to take penalty and 0.25% on non-fund-based with a maximum of 1 lakh you have to collect. 
This is with regard to QoS, HoS penalty if party is not submitting those statements. Then agriculture. This is one more important point you have to note. Agriculture term loan penal interest should not be charged up to three months from the due date of repayment of loans. If even agriculture farmer is not repaying till three months in term loan agriculture, you should not charge penal interest. So important point, three months. Some general guidelines with regard to your policy. In agriculture, existing customer means one year satisfactory dealing customer will be called as existing customer. Then display of boards, hypothecation boards. We will, when we are financing, we will ask for hypothecation boards. Na? In agriculture, up to 25,000 is waived. See, I told 50,000 in my first slide, if you remember. Insurance, up to 50,000 waived. Bills and vouchers, up to 50,000 waived. You will remember this answer because in branch also you practice. You will forget is this one only. Display of boards is only 25,000, not 50,000. Again, I'm repeating. Display of boards, 25,000. And remember, whenever you are giving KCC, KOD loans, this is not applicable. Waived, completely waived. That is the reason farmers, when you are giving cases, nobody will put a board in their crop. This uh, crop is belongs to Canada Bank like that. Okay, it is waived. KCC, KOD, it is waived. Then, post-sanction visit. Once you give any finance, in the bills, when you are waiving the bills, it is 15 days. You remember, na? 15 days I told you. Up to 50,000 agriculture, waive karto. Then within 15 days, development loans, up to 2 lakhs, 15 days. But remember, other than these two, some loans you will give under agriculture, those agriculture loans, 15 to 30 days. All other loans, 15 to 30 days, normally. In that waiver case, it is 15 days. Like that, you have to remember. Okay, then PIPR. PIPR stands for Project Implementation Progress Report. See, when you give a term loan, you have to see, for example, you have given a term loan for construction of shed. It is taking some one year. Just imagine. So every three months, you have to ensure that how the progress is going on with regard to that shed. That report, what uh, the child accountant prepares and submit to you is called project implementation project pro project implementation progress report how the project is going project implementation progress report that you have to take and this is applicable only term loans of 50 lakhs and above and quarterly we have to take this report from chartered accountant and manager chartered accountant will prepare and submit to you then manager will go their site he will verify everything is in order then he will give further disbursements okay then it is important papr can be waived up to 2 crores who circle head can waive. PIPR can be waived up to 2 crores by circle head. Then CIC guidelines. In case agriculture loans, also we generate CIC, credit information company. That you know, four companies, Sybil, Experian, Equifax and CRIF. See, here there is a peculiar answers are there. In agriculture, up to 10 lakhs. Remember, up to 10 lakhs, branch manager, if it is falling under his powers, he can sanction respect to sanctioning authority means whose lo the loan is falling under whose powers he can sanction up to 10 lakhs for example you are a branch manager or an officer some 10 lakhs kcc loan has come high risk civil is high risk still if you are justifiable reasons you are having you can sanction the loan so irrespective of the risk grade means even though high risk comes 600 score 300 yes manager is empowered to sanction remember that in point agriculture only again i am telling up to 10 lakhs, manager can take decision. 10 to 25 lakhs, RO had to get sizing powers. So that means agriculture loans, even though it is a high risk, up to 25 lakhs, RO had to get sanction. Okay, this is very important for examination purpose. Manager up to 10 lakhs, you can remember like that. Actually, I should not say manager, it is a respect to sanctioning authority. Then RO had to get permit up to 25 lakhs. Then all the relief measures under natural calamities, if anything happens, Okay, that this should be extended within 90 days from the date of natural calamity notification. RBI gives a notification within how many days you have to extend these relief measures within 90 days of RBI notification, right? Then agriculture passbook, that number they have given, NB 134. If possible, try to remember this. NB 134 is a agriculture passbook. Then coming to restructured. So generally, whenever RBA notifies, we will re do restructure our agriculture loans, okay, KCC and all. Remember, once you do restructuring in agriculture, if RBA permits, we need not classify that account as NPA. So there are some guidelines bank has covered here with regard to restructuring concept. See, when you are 
converting these crop loans under restructuring and all maximum repayment you can give up to 2 years which case when the crop loss is 33 to 55% very important slide if there is a crop loss of 33 to 50% maximum repayment holiday you can permit is 2 years and moratorium that is repayment holiday is 1 year maximum repayment is 2 years out of which moratorium is one year when when the crop loss is 33 percent to 50 percent when crop loss is more than 50 percent then you can permit maximum five years but including moratorium period of one year everywhere one year moratorium will, will be there okay restructuring moratorium will be one year but 33 percent to 50 percent crop loss only maximum permitted is two years more than 50 percent crop loss is there means maximum is five years that you have to remember then in case of restructuring moratorium will be minimum one year at least one year you have to provide this one year at least one year then additional collateral security shall be insisted if you are restructuring the loans okay then canara consumption loan one loan is there earlier uh, we used to give canara consumption loans to provide relief and to remove the hardship of existing borrowers who are affected with natural calamity in rural and semi-urban areas. How much we can give? 15,000 per borrower. Is it not the answer linking with DIR? Consumption purpose, Canara consumption loan, maximum rural semi-urban places we can give for natural calamities, amount is 15,000. Then reimbursement. See, reimbursement schemes everywhere it is same. If you have gone through my CRM policy, also same guidelines, retail also same, everywhere bank says same. Only thing is in agriculture also policy is there. They say only it will be permitted on plant and machinery that you know very well. Only plant and machinery they will permit. How much? Again, same. 25% on plant and machinery they will give. Okay. Low risk, normal risk customers only they will give. Then plant and machinery mean only plant and machinery they will give. Please remember not on land or other miscellaneous fees, they cannot finance. Whatever he has invested in plant and machinery, that bills he has to bring, out of 25%, we will give. And remember, margin he has to follow. And within six months from date of purchase, he has to come to you for reimbursement. This is very important. Any reimbursement, CRM, term loan, everywhere, within six months, he has to come. 25% of plant and machinery will finance. Then, CA certificate he has to send, how much he has spent. Then, original bills, invoices he has to provide. And who has to permit? Any reimbursement. See, normal loan you can sanction. Reimbursement already party invested. So, circle head is only having powers to give permission for reimbursement. As a branch manager, we cannot do it. We have to take permission from circle head with this regard to reimbursement of agriculture term loans. Okay? Then, agriculture valuations. Very important point here. Once this question has come in the examination purpose, See, when we are working in a rural branches like agriculture oriented branches, valuation generally I told you there are guidelines by the bank. Valuation I told you in CRM policy. Every three years we do valuation, right? So here in agriculture, generally panel value do valuation, housing loan, all those loans, mortgage loans. But here in agriculture, agriculture, if your branch is having AEO or AEO promotee manager, Remember, AEO or AEO promoting managers. That means they know agriculture very well. So, bank said, these people, agriculture loans up to 30 lakhs, these people can they, these people can do valuation of themselves. They can give the valuation. I told you in CRM policy also, agriculture also, this question is there. So, repetition. So, AEO, AEO managers up to 30 lakhs loan, they can do valuation. No need to go for panel value or like that you remember. Then, other managers, like normal promoting managers up to 20 lakhs. Both are very, very important. AEO, AEO manager 30 lakhs. Normal managers are 20 lakhs. Okay. Periodicity of valuation. I told you generally any valuation will be done after three years. Okay. But in agriculture, three years, five years, two answers are there. Only thing you have to remember is if there is a structure, there is a land and building, structure is there, shed is there, then same, normal guideline, three years. When there is no structure, only vacant site is there, then after five years. So agriculture land you are taking, for example, somebody have given a loan of 40 lakhs for agriculture, then only land is there. After five years only, you have to go for valuation. Very important. 
don't get confused with the structure means land and building like that we remember land and building normal loan also 3 years agriculture also 3 years only vacant site parties without any structure some agriculture land he has given every 5 years like that you have to remember then two empaneled valuers will value when about 10 crores this i have covered in credit policy also again the same point is referred in agriculture policy of our bank about 10 crores we have to take two valuations and the least waste to be considered when when normal valuation you are doing lsr two lsrs when you have to take 5 crores and above when you are doing under surface above 5 crores when you are selling a property two valuations you have to take remember these amounts 5 crores for uh, valuation normally about 10 crores we take two valuations but lsrs normally 5 crores and above but surface 5 crores and above we have to take two valuations here 10 crores because it is a normal valuation surface valuation 5 crores same question if you are asking for surface your answer should be 5 crores not 10 crores don't get confused now i came to kcc see actually this slide is not so required but the thing is to know the concept you must know how kcc will be financed kcc generally party will come with some land two acres land i am having sir please give kcc remember this scale of finance this is the scale of finance who will give i told you dltc will give this finance district level technical committee will provide you what is the scale of finance that question will come he has given now borrower has come two acres land he is having land records are proper 50000 into 2 1 lakh he will get first for land crop cultivation he is getting two acres into 50000 1 lakh forget these are the next post harvest post harvest we can give 10% this is 10% of 1. Okay. 10% we can give on this 1 lakh. For post harvest, post harvest purpose, that is 1 lakh at 10% is 10,000. That you have to add for KCC. Then repairs and maintenance, you have to give 20%. Out of again 1 lakh, that is 20,000. This is we are adding. First, we have given for cultivation purpose 1 lakh, 2 acres into 50,000. DLT has given the scale of money, we added. Some 10%, 20% we are adding. We are adding. 20, 10% is for post harvest and 20% is for repairs and maintenance of assets. See, is having tractor, some, some machinery will be there now for agriculture. For that repair and all, we will give 20%. Total 30%. 1 lakh 30%, 30,000. That 30,000 you have to add. Along with that, whenever you are giving KCC, KCC customer has, KCC that borrower agriculturist, he has to cover insurance. Some payas or whatever it may be. Now payas is this, discontinued. Now we have to do only PM Pradhan Mandri Suraksha Bhima Yojana only. Okay. So whatever premium is required for accidental insurance, whatever insurance he wants to cover, PMS, BY, A Pradhan Suraksha Bhima, everything, all insurance companies you can, whatever amount they are charging, premium, that amount you can add. For example, all insurance companies are charging your customer for coverage is 5,000. All these four components you give as a KCC. That is how you have to do KCC. So what is scale of, scale of finance? Then 10% for post-harvest, 20% for repairs you will add. Then insurance, actual amount you will add, whatever he wants. All four components is KCC. Now total amount is KCC. This is for one year. This is for one year. After one year, after one year, what party has to do, what we have to do is 1,35,000 na first year, 1,35,000. Now this is for one year, first year. Remember, Reserve Bank of India given guidelines every year, because DA is increasing now for us. Like that farmer also, the seed rate, pesticides rate will increase. So, Reserve Bank of India has given a very clear instructions to banks. You can increase 10% every year because inclusion of cost will be there in pesticides and all these things. Okay. So, 10% every year you can add. 1,35,000 plus 10%. 10% means 13,500. Add 13,500. It is become 1,48,500. Like that. KCC is valid for 5 years. Remember, if the question comes, KCC we are giving for 5 years. So, first year you have arrived. Next 5 years also you have to add 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, all 4 years. Then the last one, whatever it comes, this is the KCC limit for the borrower. For 5th year, for 5th year this is the limit. First year you have arrived in the previous slide. Second year you add 135 plus 13,500. Second year figure. From this again 10%, 1,48,500 is the increase. Out of the 10%, 14,850. Add this 14,850, then it will come 163,550. So every year 10% you increase for 4 years and total amount is the 
KCC sanction limit. Documentation, everything you have to do for this, remember. Documentation not for first year. Fifth year, you have to do for documentation. Okay? This is the guideline. Then remember, whenever you are giving KCC, the loan limit should be minimum 50% of the value of the produce. Okay? Whatever produce is generating, na, that should be 50% value. Loan should not exceed 50% value. For example, his crop cultivation is he's coming. For example, he's getting 2 lakhs income after produce. You cannot give more than 1 lakh. Okay, 50% value of the produce. Produce means what he's getting after harvesting. Then repayment. Everywhere in agriculture, KCC and all, if you are giving a short-term crop loan like KCC, then 12 months he has to repay. Generally, this is what happens in branches. Short-term crop loans only we will give. Short-term crop loan means paddy, wheat, 12 months repayment. Long-term crops also there. That will not be that will not come to hand cash and all within 12 months. Like a sugar cane. Sugar cane will take more time for cultivate complete completion of cultivation. Those crops, 18 months. So repayment, but if they never tell crop wise. They will they will say in agriculture, short term crop, long term crop. Short term crop, maximum repayment is 12 months. Long term crop like sugar cane, maximum repayment is 18 months. You have to remember these 12 months and 18 months. Then annual review. We have given the limit of 1,35,000. Next year, party will come for release of this amount, enhanced portion. Then you have to do a review. That review format is NF 974. Format, you have to remember, that's enough. Annual review. If everything is good, he has taken 1,35,000 first year, he has repaid it. Review, you do NF 974. You have satisfied. Increase this amount. Whatever amount you have increased in the second year, 13,500. That you release to the customer. KCC validity is five years. Just now I told you KCC validity is five years. Now I once you understand this slide, now recent guidelines you must understand. Fixing, anyway, you have given like this, five years you have given the limit. Okay, no issue. Then now, now the guidelines, now guidelines have been revised. Now what they are saying is during the annual review, after second year, once party came for second year for an enhancement of this amount, Sir, already you promised it. Na? You in the doctor, 13,500, you have to increase. He has taken first year 1,35,000. He paid it regularly. Now he will come. Now you have to increase 10%. Now, very important point. Yeah, bank, what RBI said is, first you see the scale of finance. This year, what is the scale of finance? Your DLTC has given, you have to see. For example, your DLTC says the cost of the seeds, everything increased. So they will also increase scale of finance. That you have to see. If scale of finance is not increased, you have given 10% increase, but scale of finance is not increased, you cannot give enhancement. That is the change you now. Without understanding that concept, you cannot understand this chart. Okay. Now he says, during annual review or renewal of ACC accounts, branch to verify the scale of finance given by DLTC. Earlier 50,000. Now this year, they have to increase the 10%, 55,000. Then only you will get. If they have not increased any scale of finance, same 50,000. No, you cannot give 10%. Even though at the time of sanction, you have given more than 10%, you cannot release the money. This is what you have to remember. Here, what bank says, now you see. If there is increase in scale of finance, 10% or above 10%, then branch can enhance 10% as per original sanction. What you have done above 10%, you can give it. Okay? If there is no increase in scale of finance, then branch may continue existing limit only. You cannot give 10% extra. This is one important point you have to remember for your exam also, for your working also. Then, in the existing accounts, <coughs> if fifth year is already availed, old customers already availed, such accounts may be continued with the existing. We have, don't have any choice. Already has exhausted entire fifth year limit. Then you have to continue. Okay? Even there is no increase in scale of finance, you don't have any choice. Already party has taken. Sir, he has taken already this money in 2020, sir. Remember. Now he came. What you can do? So that's the reason they told. If it's already used means, you can, even though not increase, you can go for it. Then, where the renewal of, when the renewal of amount is less than 50 year limit. Okay? When you are renewing after 50 year, you are renewing the KCC. But, less than the 50 year limit, as per 10% increase, then the bank says, you can give a higher quantum of 15 to 25% over and above scale of finance. In this only exceptional case, after fifth year during renewal, if there is no increase, you can give 15 to 25% over the above scale of finance. This is one exception, Reserve Bank permitted. Then, Plexi KCC, one scheme is there. 
marginal farmers only for marginal farmers who is a marginal farmer i told you in priority up to 1 hectare land whoever is holding is called a marginal farmer small farmer is 1 to 2 for them small 1 hectare people what they are giving 10 to 50000 may be provided that is called flexi kcc law amount you have to remember eligibility you have to remember marginal farmers only it is eligible and 10000 to 50000 then this is very important and last time this question came kcc sublimit see kcc crop cultivation you have given a uh, working capital we can now we can also sanction term loan component under sublimit 2 last time they have asked how many times of annual net income maximum how much amount we can give under term loan component under kcc Three times annual net income of the farmer, maximum 5 lakh. This question came scale 2 to 3 last year. You can take, you can see my recall questions, okay? Then, dairy loans. When you are giving dairy loans, the normal economic life, when you are giving a buffalo cows, na, so there is some life for that buffaloes. When is buffalo, you can finance up to 5 to 7 lactations and cow up to 10 lactations we can finance. And always you remember, whenever you are giving a diary loan, the maximum finance you can, you we have to finance for a buffalo or anything, maximum is third lactation. Finance up to the age of their third lactation you have to give. Okay. Then what is the meaning of high yield milch cattle? Here, here, here any, uh, any buffalo cow giving minimum 5 liters milk and above 5 liters, it is called as high yield milch cattle. This is the Word Agriculture Innovation Center. Already I told you in CRM policy, again it is available here. Here they say Agriculture Innovation Center concept. I told you in CRM, you can uh, see after certain amount, the proposal will go to appraisal to Agriculture Innovation Center. All agriculture proposal will go to AIC. AIC means Agriculture Innovation Center. It is available in our priority sector wing at head office. Okay. They will be given and they will come, they will apprise, they will see whether this proposal can be given or not. So when that proposal should be referred to them, that is the rule here. Okay. For new customers, for new customers, 150 lakhs and above, we have to send. For existing customer, 300 lakhs and above. This is as per agri policy of your bank. But CRM policy and recently also bank has given a circular regarding agriculture also, they have modified. But all these modifications in November, they have come. If examiner is not reading November circulars, then it will be a problem. That is the reason I have given both the answers here. Careful, Rahi, exam hall mein. If his answers are 150 and 300, it is from agri policy, you can think. If question is coming from CRM, it is 200 and 500. So answers, I hope you will remember. AIC for new customers, it is 150. Existing customer, it is 300. Double. Then CRM policy says a different answer. Again, I'm repeating 200, 500. Both you have to remember and to see how which question exam, which question examiner will ask. Now, agriculture policy I have completed. All the uh, examination point of view have covered. Now, only thing left out is circulars issued in 2022 with regard to agriculture. And please remember, most of the circulars are with regard to government as issued circulars, government schemes. So only minimum two, three points for examination point of view, you have to remember when government is issuing, what is the fund they have allocated? What is the minimum whom they are sanctioning this particular loan? What is the subsidy or interest they are providing to these people? Four, five points are very, very important. You should not miss. Okay. Now, first fund, first fund is Animal Husbandry Infrastructure Development Fund, AHIDF, 15,000 crore. Already I marked in red colors so that when the, you are reading the presentation, you have to remember or by heart. 15,000 crore incentive government has kept under this particular scheme. Now, incentives investment by whom they will give? Individual enterprises, private companies, farmer produce organizations, MSMEs companies, all are eligible. What is the interest subvention? 3% interest subvention. See, in agriculture, if question comes, if you are not able to give the answer pakka, if you are not remembering, most of the interest subventions are 3%. KC is a different case. Any government schemes, AHIF, Agriculture Infrastructure Fund, everywhere 3% is the answer. Just I am giving a clue to you. I am not telling to do the guesswork. If at all in the examination, all you have to do guesswork, better do with 3%. Because most of the answers matching with 3%. Now, 
For what purpose this fund has been given? Dairy processing, meat processing, animal feed, establishment of IVF center, uh, breed multiplication, sex autumn semen. For these are the purposes we can give. Under this particular fund, the project cost is 90% of the project cost loan can be given. The most important is 750 crore. Department of Animal Husbandry and Dairy will contribute 75 crores per year for 10 years, over 10 years towards this particular fund. Okay, this is the incentive, 15,000 crore. 750 crore is the credit guarantee fund they have kept out of which every year this particular Department of Animal Dairy will contribute 75 crores per year for 10 years, then it will become 750. 75 per year for 10 years, it will become 750 crore. Okay, then... This 750 crore is managed by one trustee, that is Nab Nabasankarasan Trustee Private Limited, which is a fully owned subsidiary of Nabad. Naba Sanarakshan Trustee Private Limited. The name itself is different. If at all he ask about the trust in the examination by seeing the answer, you will remember. Then maximum credit guarantee cover under this particular scene is 25% of credit facility only. Annual guarantee fee is 1% per annum and annual guarantee fee to be paid in 30 days. And please remember, CGTMSC also covers 2, cor two crore guarantee and 85% of the loan. CGTMSC covers for this particular fund. This is with regard to this particular fund, invocation of guarantee. CGTMSC have, or this particular fund you have covered. How the invocation has to be taken place? Three years from date of entry, just like CGTMSC guidelines only, our lock-in period of 18 months. No change. If you know the CGTMSC guidelines, same period. First installment, they will play. They will pay within 90 days from lodgement. Second installment also, 90 days from lodgement of claim. With regard to claim settlement, shall be in two installments also in a phased manner they will give. First installment, second installment. Up to three crores, 75% they will gain first, 25%. Just like CGTMSC again. First claim, just like CGT. Second onward, 3 to 5 crores amount, 60, 40, 5 crores is 50, 50. Okay. Then, when the account turns NPA within one year, same 25, 35%, 75% only they will pay. This is one important point you have to remember. Time of settlement, timelines of settlement. First installment, 90 days from date of lodgement of claim. And second installment, 180 days from completion of audit. This is with regard to claim period on this particular scheme. If any amount received, you have to pay back to this trust. If you are not paying on time, penal interest is 10% per annum. This is with regard to this particular scheme. These are concessions of loans with regard to PM Kusum. This uh, late 88 part 2022. If possible, try to remember. Otherwise, you can skip this circular. Collateral security, PM Kusum. If you are giving finance under collateral security, first security is 125% of loan amount you have to take. Rate of interest without collateral is MCLR plus 2%. Without collateral, based on the percentage of security provided, rate of interest bank has given. Okay. 100% means MCLR. Okay. 76, all these things I don't want to discuss. You can read those lines. Post development, PM Kusum. Post to development, this 125% will come into picture. 125% of the loan amount. Collateral security in the form of residential, commercial. And remember, whenever you are giving to PM Kusum, no liquidity premium is available. And this rate account standard up to moderate risk, we can permit internally double B rated accounts. Okay. So I hope this is the rate of interest purpose. You have to, if you can buy hard, you can buy hard. Otherwise, Something you can remember up to collateral, without collateral, you remember up to 2%. 100% means MCLR. These two answers are very important. Remaining possible, you have to buy heart. Then coming to electronic negotiable warehouse receipts. See, when I am taking priority class also, I told you, I think uh, uh, somewhere uh, I missed the point. See, whenever you are giving a negotiable warehouse receipts, physical warehouse receipts also people will bring. Will bring. When physical receipt has come, warehouse receipt, then you can finance up to 50 lakhs. If it is a negotiable, <coughs> if it is a negotiable warehouse receipt, you can go up to 75 lakhs, right? That is with regard to classification of priority. 
on it. Okay, this is electronic uh, EWR. MSME, non MSE. Any scheme, this scheme will be applicable. Who, who are the target group? Who can take this finance? Farmers, traders, processing of processors of agriculture commodities. Any people sort stored at the warehouse registered with WDRA. Okay. Warehouse Development Regulatory Authority, WRE. Okay. If anybody is in that, uh, anybody does, farmer can put, trader can put, from farmer, trader purchase, trader is putting, he can also come with the receipt and we will finance. Okay. All three, farmer, farmers a trader, trader also can come and processors of agriculture commodity. All these three people we will give. All existing new are eligible, individual proprietors, including SAG, partnership, cooperative firms, everybody is eligible. Okay. Only condition is these Entities must have a, a repository account with any other national e-repository limited or CDSL, Commodity Repository Limited, under the WDRA, WDRA Act. If they put these particular commodities in these two places under WRA Act and they comes with a negotiable warehouse receipt, they can finance. New customer means as per this, minimum their operation should be minimum one year. And credit rating, the bank said, account should beat investment grade. Then only we can give this finance. Okay. Now, how much we can finance? See, as you know that priority classification is 75 lakhs per NWR receipt, same amount. Up to 75 lakhs can be considered. That's all. Okay. Single short-term loan we will give. Single transaction loan we will give. So maximum how much we can give? On that negotiable warehouse receipt, 75 lakhs is the maximum amount only we can give because priority classification also 75, ENW also 75. That amount and all you need not remember. Now you have to remember how the amount will be assessed. The first one is existing parties with our bank means 85% of the assessed value of the commodity underlying in the ENWR. New parties, 75% of assessed value. Okay. Existing party 85% we will finance on EWR. If a new customer means 75%. Then how the value will be considered? Three, three priorities they will see. Number one is value as per the warehouse receipt. How much value they say? That value we will see. That's not a problem. Then minimum support price, MSP. Government will decide the minimum support price. That also you can take. Third one is Current market price available in the produce, produce market. All these three you will see and the least you have to consider. How much? 75% for new party, 85% for existing party. Maximum is 75. Right? Margin. Margin do you have to remember? Not remember. When you are giving existing party 85, 15% will be the margin. When new party 75 means 25% margin. If you remember one thing, other thing is automatic. Then rate of interest for MSME borrowers and food and agro in this NR, this negotiable scheme, lower risk customers, RLLR, normal risk, 0.5, moderate risk, plus 1%. 0.5 added, 0.5 added. Processing charges, how much you have to charge? Low risk, normal risk customer, 50 rupees per lakh. Moderate customers, 100 rupees per lakh you have to charge. Okay? This is the, regarding this particular scheme. Now we came to same circular, some uh, one more is there, WDRA, issued by report, um, modified guidelines, some modified 686, this is the latest circular, okay? Ministry of Consumer Affairs, food publication is the security guidelines. Now, security guidelines, they have eased. How much? See, first is up to 75 lakhs loan, you know, okay? New borrower up to 5 lakhs, new borrower up to 5 lakhs, existing borrower up to 10 lakhs, what are the security guidelines you have to see? 5 lakhs, 10 lakhs means small loan. So bank said only pledging of the deed, that ego, electronic negotiable warehouse receipt. If he is pledging with you, covering all the stocks available in that particular uh, uh, NERL or CCRL, whatever is there, you can mark, because negotiable, electronic negotiable, you can mark your lien there. Then branch shall note that particular lien and it, it is over. 
That means you need not ask any separate security from the borrower. Up to 5 lakhs for new customers, up to 10 lakhs for existing customers. Very, very important for exam. Whenever you are giving a, a loan against electronic negotiable warehouse receipt, up to 75 lakh, we have discussed in the earlier scheme. 5 lakhs for new, 10 lakhs for existing, only have to mark lien. That's all. Okay, then it's over. You can give the finance. But new up to 5, we have given. Then 5 to 75 for new customer. Existing customer up to 10 lakhs, against lien, you have given. 10 to 25 lakhs. What are the guidelines? Some guidelines are different. Anyway, you have to put lien. Lien, you will not leave. Lien will be there. Here also lien, lien. Lien will be always there. Other than that, what bank is telling is 100% of the loan amount, you have to take mortgage. That means above these loans, you have to take mortgage, collateral security, you have to take. Okay. Then if you are financing to partnership and companies, take personal guarantee of the partners, directors. Okay. That is the point. I hope I am clear. This slide is very clear. Again, I am reading new customers up to 5 lakhs, existing customers up to 10 lakhs when you are financing, maximum 75, correct? You know, 5 and 10, no security, only lien marking. 5 to 75 for new, 10 to 75 for existing customers, you have to take 100% collateral. Remember that, that's enough. Now, RBI guidelines with regard to microfinance loans. Microfinance meaning has been defined, changed now, up to 3 lakhs, whatever loans you give, irrespective of the areas, whoever give finance, now it is called a microfinance loan. Only thing is, it should be a collateral free loan. Collateral free loan to any person in any area up to 3 lakhs is a microfinance loan. Clear? Next. Household means, they will say household, no? word. One house collateral 3 lakhs. What is household? Individual family is a unit, husband, wife and their unmarried children. All put together, whatever loans you are giving, up to 3 lakhs is micro. Qualifying asset, already discussed, again repeating, priority sector it came, CRM policy it came. 75% of the net asset, this is the latest change of Reserve Bank of India. Questions you can expect from this, 3 lakhs, 75%, all these things, okay. Then, NBFCs extending loans to its total assets. Here, Whenever NBFC is financing, maximum limit on microfinance loans for NBFC is now stands, revise it to 25% of total assets. When NBFC is financing to microfinance, they have to finance maximum 25% of their total assets. Credit guarantee scheme for farmer produce organization. This is some more scheme. Okay. This 70 maximum guarantee coverage is 75 percent of sanction limit with a maximum ceiling of 1.5 crore because loan can be sanctioned up to 2 crore up to 2 crore whatever loans we can sanction up to 75 percent they are giving guarantee so it's automatically one point tenure of the guarantee is five years see generally uh, farmer produce organizations uh, when they are getting finance so now there is a guarantee scheme for them this is how you have to remember that's guarantee scheme is Credit guarantee scheme. What it will cover for farmer produce organizations when they are taking finance from banks. What is the coverage? Coverage they will give up to 2 crore, but 70% of the limit only they will give guarantee coverage. Maximum credit guarantee cover. Tenure is 5 years. Then guarantee fees up to 1 crore 0.75%. Above 1 crore 0.85%. And maximum annual guarantee fee is 1,70,000 only. These three you have to remember when it comes to credit guarantee scheme for farmer produce organizations. Lock-in period, generally 18 months. Na? For them, it is 12 months. Invocation, when the account became NPA, maximum period is 12 months on the date of NPA. If it is after lock-in period. NPA, within lock-in period, the guarantee can be invoked within one year of the end of the lock-in period. Okay, this is invocation period. Then we came to Agriculture subventions, recent changes, short term crop loans. See, as you know, now gold loan and all, there is no subsidy. Government of India is not giving any subsidy on agriculture gold loans. Now, KCC is having gold loan. Okay. KCC is, sorry, KCC is having subsidy. Okay. Now, you know that up to 3 lakhs farmers will be given this subsidy. Correct. Na? Up to 3 lakhs farmers will be given. How much interest subvention is 2% per annum? That you know, if you are working in the branch and all, you know pretty well. But there is a small change I will discuss in the next slide. But maximum subvention for prompt repayment, 
if anybody is repaying prompt repayment within one year, if somebody is paying the loans, agriculture KCC, then 3% extra premium is 3% extra interest you will get. Generally, earlier we used to charge 9%, then minus 2%, it will become 7%. Then another 3% we used to give prompt people. Then ultimately 4% is the last rate of interest one farmer used to get. This is how earlier guidelines. Now, 22-23, Reserve Bank of India made some changes. We will discuss. But in this slide, we are discussing about this. 2% normal interest subvention, prompt repayment 3%. Eligible lending. See whether you know about Canada Bank because you are claiming subsidy. What are all the other banks? Reserve Bank of India is giving subsidy. All public sector banks. Canada Bank is coming here. Private sector banks. In respect of loans given in rural, semi-urban branches only. See, for private, for public sector banks, wherever you give KCC, you will get. Even Hyderabad, if I give a KCC, I will get. But private sector banks, it is not like that. Only for rural and semi-urban branches. Small finance banks can be given. Primary agriculture cooperative societies also will be given, but it should be computerized. And please remember, even this primary agriculture co cooperative societies, which have been seeded with scheduled commercial banks on use their use of their own resources, then only they are eligible. Okay. Then interest subvention, as I told you, up to 3 lakhs, overall limit of 3 lakhs, Reserve Bank of India is giving, subject to maximum sub limit of 2 lakhs for farmer in respect of those farmers involved in activities related to animal husbandry, dairy, fishery, beekeeping. See, agriculture will do KCC also, right? This is a, and other than that, some allied activities you will do like dairy, correct? Now I told you, dairy, fishery, right? So if they are giving, Reserve Bank of India is giving 3 lakhs. See, if customer has taken 3 lakhs KCC, maximum is 3 lakhs only. He will claim only KCC subsidy. For example, one borrower has taken 2 lakhs KCC, 1 lakh dairy. For 2 lakhs KCC also they will give, 1 lakh dairy also they will give. But remember, maximum under these activities is 2 lakhs only, not 3 lakhs. That is what Reserve Bank of is telling here. Overall limit is 3 lakhs for KCC, agriculture, everything. But allied activities, this dairy, maximum is 2 lakhs. Out of the 3 lakhs, only 2 lakhs. And always remember, major priority is given to always KCC. Then interest subvention under KCC will be available for small and marginal farmer for the period of six months extra. When, when the harvest, the crop against warehouse receipts. See, after 12 months, a farmer has kept his uh, goods in a, uh, goods in a uh, warehouse. Then they will be eligible for another six months. Who? Only small farmers and marginal farmers. Interest subvention will be available. Farmers affected natural calamities, still interest subvention will be available 2% for first year. See, still they will give 2% tan up. This 2% will be given for even there have been any problem with natural calamities. Severe natural calamities have come. This is, this is a na normal natural calamity. Severely came. Then 2% annum, whatever you have discussed, will be given for first three years. Subject to a maximum of five years. And prompt repayment instead to 3% also will be provided to them. When, see, natural calamities, normal calamities, 2% for first year. But any severe has come, then 2% annum, first three years they will give. Subject to a maximum of five years. Why they told maximum five years? Earlier KCC also they have given, correct? Na? So therefore, maximum five years they will give. Okay. Now we came to the recent changes with regard to KCC subsidy part. This is a recent change. I hope in the earlier slide we have discussed up to 3 lakhs. Short-term crop loans, including animal husbandry, everything will be covered up to 3 lakhs. But major part is covered with KCC only. Okay. Through KCC, this is 2023 and 24. This is a subsidy government is going to give. This is the latest change. Please note. Then, now, lending to for, no, eligibility is same. Public sector banks, they can give. Private sector banks, I told you, no, rural, semi-urban, if they finance, then only they're eligible. Small finance banks, eligible. Computerized packs eligible, but we should be seeded with the scheduled, cover, uh, scheduled commercial banks on use their own resources. Okay, then subsidy part. Now there is a small modification here. Prompt incentive, same, no problem, 3%. Remember, now lending rate to farmers is 7%. 
Okay, only 7% you have to charge. Then rate of interest, subvention 2%, na? now it is 1.5%. Subvention first to lending instruction is only 1.5%. This is earlier, I, as I understood is earlier it is 9%, we used to get 2%, we used to get 3%. Now you have to charge 7%. Reserve Bank of India will give you 1.5%. So it will become 8.5%. And if you are spraying promptly, 3% extra they will give. This is the latest change. Okay. Additional interest subvention within one year, 3% annum. Anyway, they will give this. Net is 4% again. Okay. 7% you are charging. 3% is minus prompt, 4%. 1.5 anyway, bank is going to get from Reserve Bank of India. Then, what is prompt repayment? When this benefit will come? Prompt repayment ka meaning kya hai? From date of disbursement of loan up to the actual date of repayment or up to the date fixed by the bank for repayment of such loans, subject to a maximum period of one year from the date of disbursement. Actually, what happens is, borrower has taken a loan. Up to one year, we will generally see. But if the bank has given 18 months, up to that period, they are telling. Okay, Whatever bank permits repayment period, till that time, if it is available, then subsidy they will get. Within that period, if they are paying the amount, that is called a prompt repayment. Generally, for a banking purpose, we treat as a one year. But the guideline says, if bank has given any such more period, more than one year, that also will be taken care of. Now we have come to one more scheme of agriculture. KCC part is over. Now interest subvention prompt repayment incentive benefits at short term crops for allied activities. 714, latest circular. As I told you already, 3 lakhs per annum, overall limit 3 lakhs, as I just told you. 3 lakhs per annum, government is giving. But sub limit of 2 lakhs will be given for Allied animal husbandry, just now I told you, no? same thing, fisheries and crop loan component will take priority of interest subvention and prompt repayment benefits and the residual amount will be covered towards allied activities. As I told you, agriculturist will take KCC, allied activities also. For example, I just, again, I'm repeating. For example, what I what they, what they are saying is, here he has taken 2 lakhs, here he has taken 3 lakhs, here he will get entire subsidy. Okay. For example, here he has amount he has taken 3 lakhs. Here he has taken 1 lakh. First 1 lakh they will give under KCC. Then remaining 2 lakhs they will give here. So this is the concept of giving more priority to this part. First whatever KCC up to 3 lakhs that will be given. Remaining balance portion if is available then up to 2 lakhs can be covered under allied activity. This is the concept. Then same concept. KCC small one marginal farmer up to 6 months post harvest Crop and a negotiable various if they are keeping, that will be given. And natural calamities 2% per annum, almost repetition in this particular slide, first year. And uh, such a restructured loans will attract normal rate of interest from second year onwards. Then severe calamities 2% per annum first year, maximum five years, prompt repayment 3% also will be given. But here some points they have told is that natural calamities, who will decide? Natural calamities will be decided by two people. High level committee will decide based on the recommendations of inter-ministerial central team and a subcommittee of national executive committee. These, three, these two people will recommend based on that high level committee will decide which is a natural calamity in the country. Okay. Then this short term, whatever now processing started in 20 to 23. Okay. Everything should be processed in ISS platform or DBT, digital banking platform is there, Reserve Bank of India. There we have to punch all these subsidies, okay? ISS portal, DBT platform. Now we came to NLM scheme, National Livestock Mission. Livestock itself will say livestock. That means sheep, goat, piggery, sheep, goat, piggery, all these loans. So eligibles are individuals, FPOs, SAG, ALG, FPC, everybody can take. Subsidy is 50% capital subsidy up to subsidy ceiling ranging from 25 to 50 lakhs. The subsidy will be channelized through CB. So this is a scheme of government. Okay, You have to remember 50% subsidy, 25 to 50 lakhs. There are some subdivisions they made. Sub breed development livestock, feed and fodder and innovation and extension. Master circular on SAG bank linkage. This is one important circular. SAG bank linkage. SAG and all, you know a little bit. Here bank says, customer due diligence, KYC and all. You have to remember, 
members of the SHG may be undertaken at the time of credit linkage of SHG. In KYC policy also I told you, whenever you are opening a self-help group account, at the time of opening of account, you have to take KYC of only authorized signatories, president, then a secretary, those people only. At the time of giving credit linkage loan, you have to take all the members. This question is very important. When you have to take some conditions, they will give odd man out, you have to remove. Then 85% of the SHG, whatever finance we are doing, the government, say, our bank says, 85% of groups linked to the banks were formed exclusively by women. Generally, we see now SHG means there is a concept only women will run. So 85% of things are happening with women only, exclusively women. Then credit, see, SHG is what type of loan we will give. We are not giving for agriculture, MSM, you know? so income generation activities we can give, any activity they can do. Social needs like housing, education, marriage we can give, debt swapping also we can give. So these are the purposes we can give finance for SHGs. This opening of account, CD of office bearer suffices, all will be taken at the time of credit linkage. This is next line is very important. See, generally in the SHGs, up to 1 is to 1 to 1 is to 4, whatever savings they do, na, that uh, savings, with that 1 is to 1, 1 is to 4 we give. Last time this question came. Generally, 1 is to 5 will be given with micro credit plan. Okay. But in SAG, this question was asked by IVPS like this. Sanction will be given up to 1 is to 4, 1 is to 4. However, in case of matured SAGs, this question is available with them. That's the reason I'm repeating. Matured SAGs, loans may be given beyond how many times like that they have asked it. Generally, we will think one is to five. No, there they have answered is loans may be given beyond four times. They have used the word beyond four times. They have not used one point one is to five. Okay. So if this question comes in the exam, you have to put answer as four times, not five times. This is what I want to tell you. Service charges and all, it is nil. If any defaulters in SAG, few members of the SAG have defaulted. Okay. Then family members, to the financing bank should not ordinarily come into way of financing SAG as per banks, provided SAG is not default. See, in a SAG, somebody defaulted. You cannot deny finance to their family members. Okay? Few members came may default. That members you need not finance, but not their family members. Okay? Because they are not coming ordinarily into the picture. That is the reason bank says. Reserve bank says. Now, there is some restriction with regard to stocks. 352 says, edible oil and edible oil, you know, and during that uh, Ukraine war, everybody purchased oil and all, right? To that, we feel that demand will come. So that uh, government has given some guidelines. Edible oil, if anybody is coming for finance and all, okay? These are essential retail wholesale traders comes. Edible oil, 30 quintal to 500 quintal only, we have to take care. Oil seeds means 100 quintal to 200 quintal only, we have to give. Credit not to be extended for financing stocks over and above stock limits imposed by government other from time to time. So more than this, nobody can keep stock. So you cannot give more than this. More than this stock, you cannot give a finance. This is the restriction bank told. So oil is at 30 quintal to 500. Oil seeds, 100 quintal to 200 quintal. Okay, I hope you will remember. Lending by commercial bank to NBFCs for the purpose of on lending to priority sector. Commercial banks to NBFC, how much they can give? Bank loans to NBFCs, including housing finance companies, on lending will be allowed up to 5% of an individual's bank's total priority sector lending in case of commercial banks. So 5% is very, very important for examination purpose. We, uh, commercial banks cannot give more than 5% of more than 5% of the total priority sector lending to NBFCs for on lending to others. Now, this is one more scheme of uh, government of India, that is PMFME, Prime Minister's Micro Food Processing Enterprises. Three, four points are very important here. Number one is subsidy. Very, very important for exam. 35% subsidy, just like PMEGP. But only thing is maximum 10 lakh per unit. Okay? This is the maximum subsidy PMFME will give. Pradhan Mantri food processing. For food processing, they will give food processing units if somebody is putting here, one tough question, if it comes, they will ask, see, plan, pro, the project cost, whatever you are putting, uh, 10 lakhs you are giving, uh, they are telling, plant and machinery and technical civil work only have to consider under project cost. 
not land and building rent these things you cannot consider please remember shed no lease or rent of shed cost of land you cannot cover in the project cost on 10 lakhs please remember this technical civil works whatever you are project cost when you are adding that should not be more than 30% of eligible project cost technical civil work cannot be more than 30% in the project cost plant and machinery should be more than 70% like that you have to remember okay so 35% is very important up maximum 10 lakhs per unit they will give subsidy government will give capital linked subsidy but they will give only on plant and machinery subsidy that technical civil work can be added but maximum 30% of the project cost then age and all you know 18% education qualification no okay and remember even if has availed any finance bank loan in other subsidy scheme still they are eligible applicant is eligible to bank loan under the scheme even he has availed bank in other subsidy linked schemes of the government see for example he has taken pmegp still he is eligible pmfme somebody has taken a government scheme enjoying the subsidy still they are eligible that is one more point working capital can be sanctioned but no subsidy under pmfme you can give loan but no subsidy working capital you can give but no subsidy term loan capital funds yes subsidy is the 35 percent 10 lakhs what is a subsidy already I discussed with you 35 percent is a subsidy on the project cost group when it is giving maximum ceiling is three crores okay total project cost should not exceed 10 crore these are very very important answers 35 percent 10 lakhs okay 30 percent it cannot be more than that in technical 30 uh, maximum ceiling is 3 crore should not project cost should not exceed 10 crore then no turnover and all expenditure no conditions margin 10 percent of the project cost these are the four five important points you have to remember with regard to pfme and most important point is 35 percent and 10 lakhs okay then and one more thing if anybody has taken pfme pradhan mantri that uh, food processing somebody has taken a loan okay for them even government is ready to give additional benefit of interest subvention of 3% extra. This is agriculture infrastructure fund. One fund is there where the bank is giving 3% subsidy. In PMFMEA, even the 3% interest subsidy extra also people will get. Additional benefit. Subsidy also they will get. Interest subsidy also they will get under PMF. Okay. And please remember, for getting this 3% subsidy, what government told, rate of interest charged by the bank should be less than 9%. That is the only condition we have to fulfill. Then government will give 3% interest subvention also. Capital subsidy also they will get. Interest subvention also they will get. Continuation of small and marginal farmers up to 3 lakhs. See, bank always give benefit to small people. Waiver. Waiver of service charges for KCC, animal husbandry, fisheries loans, all these three loans up to 3 lakhs. But whom? only for small and marginal farmer till 31st March 23. Important circular. Up to 3 lakhs is very, very important. They may ask the question up to what amount the waiver of small and marginal farmers waiver will be there. Up to 3 lakhs. Okay. Applicable up to 31st March. Then what processing, documentation, everything is charged. What are all eligible? KCC accounts, animal husbandry, fishery, everything up to 3 lakhs. Road codes and all if you remember, okay, otherwise you leave it. For borrowers, up to 3 lakhs. Okay. Branch to collect the charges manually if aggregate limit exceeds the cutoff for a waiver. You have to collect manually if aggregate limit, you have given 2-3 loans, system will not calculate. One case is a small margin, you have given 2 lakhs. Again, you have given 2 lakhs. Amount is 4 lakhs. You have to charge. But 2 lakhs, 2 lakhs means system will not charge. So, manually you have to take care. Then, Pradhan Mantri Kisan Sampada Yojana. This is with regard to Food processing industries, okay, whoever gives a food processing, for them, they have given this subsidy. Uh, food processing industries, they can put maximum two units in mega food park, one unit in agriculture processing cluster. Maximum two units in mega food park and one unit in agro processing cluster. Activities related to aerated water, packaged drinking water, not eligible. Under this scheme, they are not covering food and agro, food and food processing and preservation. Okay. Then dairy, poultry, farming, mushroom, not eligible. These cases are not eligible. See, when you are unable to read what is the eligible, better to read not eligible. 
so that he will add one more to here and he will have to remove the odd man out. So dairy, poultry, mushroom, hatchery, farming, not eligible to get final subsidy under PMFME, sorry, food and processing industry scheme. Okay. And two, two units in mega food park, one in that. Okay. Aerated water, not eligible. Packaged drinking water, not eligible. Remaining all for your purpose, I have given these are all eligible to activities. Last slip line you see. Carbonated drinking beverages, somebody is coming, coming for finance under food and food processing. We can give only condition is more than 5% in case of lime, more than 10% in case of other units, if it, other fruits, if it is available, then only it can be considered. And net worth, under this particular scheme, whoever is coming for finance, their net worth shall not be less than 1.5 times of the grant sought whatever loan they are sought na, under that they should not be 1.5 times should not be less than 1.5 times grant 1. Point times of net worth of this grant whatever they are asking for applying assistance non-refundable fee they have to pay 20,000 this is the fees when they are applying SCST 15,000 this is little bit important for examination purpose then under this particular scheme successful applicant shall submit a refundable guarantee the bank guarantee Okay, they have to submit a bank guarantee to the government. Initially, it will be given for 60 days. In, initially, when it for 60 days, beyond schedule completion of the project. The project, after project completion, 60 days. It can be extended for another 60 days beyond revised completion of project. Both are 60 days only. First, while for 60 days, beyond project. If it extends in requirement, another 60 days for 5% of how much guarantee? 5% of grant in aid within 30 days of issue of approval by ministry. See, somebody got this particular scheme subsidy and all. Okay. Whatever amount they get on that 5% of grant, 5% the eligible grant, 1 crore he got, yeah, sorry, 10 lakhs or 20 lakhs. Out of that 5% amount, they have to give guarantee. That 5% within 30 days, once they get the approval, Within 30 days, they have to give the guarantee. That guarantee is applicable for 60 days after expiry. Beyond another 60 days also, bank can extend, which can be extended. Okay. Then for getting this loan, minimum 60% mark should be got by the borrower, but it can be 45% for SCST. Eligible for this grant. Okay. Minimum 60 marks. Some they have given some rating chart, 60%. Then, how assistance will be given? Sir, what? They have paid 20,000. Okay, this is the net worth. Okay, given guarantee. What is that? 35% of eligible cost in general areas and 50% difficult areas, maximum 5 crore of assistance they will get. Grant aid they will get. So, maximum 5 crore. This 5 crore, ka, this amount, whatever you are giving this. Bank guarantee, government is asking. Okay. So, this is very important pattern of assistance. 35% of eligible cost for general areas, 50% of difficult areas, maximum 5 crore. Grant aid will be released by government in two installments. And uh, the project to be completed within 18 months. This is with regard to this Sampada Yojana scheme. Uh, we are coming to the last slides. Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana. This you know very well. This is with regard to government. This is with regard to government uh, insurance. Okay. Now, all farmers, both loany, non loany all are, everybody can take this. See, any natural calamity comes, government, just like insurance, okay? Including sharecroppers, tenant croppers, notif everybody can take, even notified crop, okay? Everything is covered. Aadhaar has been mandatory, compulsory, compulsory, they have to provide, okay? Then, voluntary, for now it is not mandatory, please note, it is voluntary. And what, what crops will be covered? All notified crops, food crops, cereals, millet, pellets, oil seeds, annual commercial, hearty crop, everything is covered. Now deadline. For cutoff date, 15th is the Karif season. 15th December is the Rabi crop. That Before that, they have to apply for this particular scheme. And what is the maximum insurance charges payable by the farmer? How much insurance charges party has to pay? Karif season, all food grains, oil seed, they have to give 2% on the sum insured. Rabi crops, same crops, 1.5% of sum insured. And all commercial crops, word is used, 5% of the sum insured. So all these three you have to remember. 
Karif 2%, Rabi 1.5%, Karif and Rabi, whatever is there. If anybody is putting commercial crop, 5%. Commercial crop is a higher commercial crop, 5%. These two, you may get confused. Remember, Karif 2, Rabi 1.5. Extension of no bond. This is a campaign which bank your bank has implemented. At least one loan under agriculture infrastructure fund we have to sanction. That is the contest. SSG bank bank linkage. The bank has revised the grading format. Number is one zero three eight. Minority communities presently one twenty one minority concentration districts have at least twenty five percent minority population. Okay and. Uh, uh, this is a list they have provided to us, excluding those states minority majority. Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland. These are places where majority of the minorities are available. Punjab, most six are there, priority. Jammu and Kashmir, Muslims are there. Majority are there, okay? Other than that, wherever at least 25% is there, that 121 places they have given. Who are all the minorities? Sikh, Muslim, Christian, Jorastian, Buddhist, Jains. Then... National Wide KCC Animal Husbandry Fisheries Campaign. It is started from 15th March. Just to, to make a point only I have given us. Operational guidelines with regard to, this is one important circular with regard to Agriculture Credit Center. See, MSME, we have MSME Solar. Retail, we have RAH. For agriculture, now we have Agriculture Credit Centers. ACC. What they will do? MSME Solar, about 25 lakhs, right? Agri retail lending, car loans, mortgage loans, everything RAH is doing. But agriculture loans also now concept has been started. How they will sanction? ACC will sanction. The most important for examination point is press term loan or composite loan of 5 lakhs. This is very, very important. Above 5 lakhs only will be sanctioned by ACC. First important point. Very important for exam. Above 5 lakhs only, ACC will entertain the proposal. Then ACC will not take care of gold loans, SHGs, Government sponsored schemes not backed by mortgage. Gold loan, anyway, mortgage will not be there. Okay, SAG, JLG, mortgage will not be there mostly. Government sponsored scheme, you should be careful. If there is a mortgage, they will take care. No mortgage, up to 10 lakhs CJFMU, they will not do. Okay, branch has to sanction. Other than that, any loan under agriculture above 5 lakhs, they will sanction. Please remember KCC and KOD, they will not sanction irrespective of the amount. Branch only has to sanction. Then, delegation of power is whatever DM, SME, Sulab is having powers, same powers ACC DM will have. Then, agriculture core lending branches except AF will be linked to AFC. AF high tech branch is not linked to ACC. Where whatever branches agriculture finance they are doing, okay, big ticket, 5 lakhs, above 5 lakhs, all will be linked to agriculture, this ACC, okay. Then, what they will do? ACC, what they will do? They will do marketing, canvassing, processing, sanctioning, documentation, disbursement, follow-up of agriculture loans, linked branches. Everything they will do. Now, presently, our bank started with 14 ACCs. Places and all you not remember? These are the places. These are the places bank already started. Now, most important point. Up to 20 kilometers, whatever loans under ACC is coming, Okay, these ACC up to 20 kilometers on branch is there. They have sent a 6 lakhs proposal to ACC. Processing, handling, comp, up to 5 lakhs. Sorry, above 5 lakhs. <laughs> Disbursement, documentation, everything will be done by ACC. But post sanction will be done by respective branch as well as ACC. Both will do. After sanction, before sanction, up to 20 kilometers, Above 5 lakh proposal comes, ACC will do everything. Post sanction, both branch and ACC will do. Above 20 kilometer proposal comes. Processing and sanction, ACC will do. Documentation, disbursement, post sanction will be done by branch. Because far away, na, some 50 kilometers away branch. So documentation, disbursement, customer will be near to the branch only. How he can come to ACC is 50 kilometers away. So that point, if you remember, 20 kilometers. So this question, above 5 lakhs ACC handle, 20 kilometers, above 20 kilometers, you have to remember. Time norms. Within how many days ACC has to sanction? Fresh proposal. Within th three to seven days of sourcing the proposal. They have to do. With fresh in three to seven days from the date of sourcing of the proposal at their end. Or within three days, date of receipt of application through lapse. If it is coming by lapse, three days. Otherwise, three to seven days. Okay. Then 
pre sanction visits to be done acc only for all the branches here pre sanction visit whether 20 kilometers 100 kilometers everything acc will do because pre sanction i told in loans which are very important uh, before giving any loan pre sanction is very much important to know whether this account will go good or bad so that is the reason that decision has been given to acc now there is a campaign is going up to 31st march 23 six months campaign remember krishi sahasya campaign even for interview also it is important once you clear the exam in the interview panel they will ask what are the campaigns going on if you remember this campaign you can tell because before 31st march 23 your interview will be over now there are two three important points in a, in any branch aeo is working 60 lakhs term loan per month is the target hitech af branch means hitech af branch to disburse 10 crore term loan per month remember aeo 60 lakhs hitech af 10 crore per month then 6 months is 6 into 63.60 10 means 60 crore this you need not remember multiply with the 6 months every month aeo 60 6 months 360 height of kf 10 crore per month into 6 60 crore over if acc linked branch just now we know the concept of acc then again aeo branches same 60 lakhs term loan and please remember this is not term loan only aeo does but gold loans no that cannot be added only term loans same amount no no difference aeos but non aeo branch non aeo branch 25 lakhs term loan per month maximum is again 6 times 1.5 okay each non aeo branch to disburse 20 lakhs term loan per month and 1.20 during campaign this is not linked this is linked branches okay you not remember all these things i don't think examiner may ask but it is a circular 605 or 22 maybe if he turns to the question it will be difficult just try to remember this scst october october month is called as scst month only bank says 100 new sc never this question came or try to by heart just to note 100 scst customers we have to give finance this within this campaign okay within that month modification of very important point is potato farmers this question came once again modification came anybody is coming for potato cold storage finance earlier we used to give 6 crore now this is increased to 10 crore very important for example again i am telling potato earlier that cold cold storage farmers are coming maximum is 6 crore now it became 10 crore this is with regard to charges how much charges we have to charge to the customer now everything is auto now everything is auto but only thing is the auto renewal charges simply if they write okay but they have given the charges agriculture renewal charges agriculture review charges agriculture renew review anyway up to 25000 is nil for renewal 300 about 2 lakhs 250 per lakh annual review charges up to 1 lakh nil 1 to 2 lakh 150 125 okay this is the slabs you have to remember modification of component under pradhan mantri kisan ujja suraksha evam uttam mahabiyan government scheme hai. this they have told repayment 15 years including one year repayment holiday revised repayment norms have come they may ask very latest circular september 21 is pm kusum the repayment has increased to 15 years agriculture infrastructure fund scheme agriculture infrastructure fund scheme i told you under this only 3% subsidy they are getting pmfm right under this 25 projects different locations maximum a entity can set up a entity can set up 25 projects the first one interest subvention up to 2 crore eligible interest subvention and this 25 projects what i am telling is not applicable to state agencies government national federation this is this this 25 is not up they can go more than that then this is important last time they asked this question but i don't know this is september circular and this circular 360 also came that's why i have kept it 13 years they asked what is the date for scale 2 to 3 2032 to 33 i could not able to give in the examination hall dates are that much important sometimes now this is important 10000 crore to be provided by banks and fis as a loans to pax 1 lakh crore sorry not 10000 1 lakh crore has been provided by the banks and fis loan disbursement under the scheme is for 6 years it should complete within 6 years af okay then project amount 40000 crore have been 
sanctioned under the scheme already over projects amounting to 4000 crore not 40000 sorry 4000 crores maximum repayment period 7 years including moratorium of 2 years see few things even i tell you cannot remember minimum try to remember the most important points on the particular scheme af scheme ninth day of every month to be observed as af day this is october circular ninth day of every month to be observed as aif day okay friends i think <clears throat> i have finished with my session now let us see some questions how much you are able to answer we will see how much retention you have in your uh, slides all questions will come from my slides only let us see how much you could able to retain and uh, this particular old material generally i never recommend to go through the material but if you have time you can go 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 with these slides okay kisan tatkal okay otherwise these are old schemes even policy also not covered generally they don't ask that is what my assumption is but still for your safety i have given kisan tatkal kisan odi they are never asking all these schemes okay produce loan already you have covered farm machinery loans tractor loans okay bird insurance how much the premium and all we have to pay okay sorry not premium insurance on livestock and all it cannot be covered so how much uh, that uh, that uh, without taking insurance, we will take a deposit. Okay, RD they will put how much and all. Macha Suraksha, Pariraksha, these schemes are already absolute. Agriculture, absolute business. Okay, these are all the absolute schemes, but still I feel it is in the bank, but examiner is not touching the old scheme. So why to keep more schemes in your brain? So I limited my limited my thing. Okay. Now the first is first question, most important KCC loans under branch powers to be sanctioned within how many days? Very good. I told you 15 days KCC powers is a very important. Other than that, agriculture up to 25,015, yeah, about 25,030 days. It is my first slide. Good. As for policy of the bank, the branch can sanction loans up to dash kilometers in the command area or for all priority sector advances. 40, sir, 40. Okay, I think made it wrong. So answer is correct. It is 30 kilometers. As per the policy of the branch, if the branch wants to sanction beyond their command area, the permission is to be obtained from. Very good. Most of the people are giving correct answer. It is RO head. Answer is one. Right. As per the policy of the bank, insurance is waived for agriculture loans. I told you very clearly. Insurance, I told you only one point you have to remember. That is 25,000. Boards, hypothecation of boards is 25,000. Remaining whatever answer come, answer should be 50,000. See, again, people got confused. They are putting 25,000. Sir, 25,000 answer is only for hypothecation of boards. Remaining all 50,000 bills, insurance. Okay, clear? Okay, no problem. Here you can make mistakes, sir. In the examination, all you should not make mistake. As per the policy of the bank, just you see, policy waived up to agriculture. Same question. See, don't get confused. Now, just now I told you. Anything comes, answer is 50,000. Okay, sorry. This is with regard to development loan. The question is with regard to development loans. Agriculture development loans. I told you bills and vouchers with regard to normal is 50,000. But development loans, it is 2 lakhs. Okay, this is how we will get confused in the examination hall. Actually, I made this question get confused to you, but I got confused. Because your answers are 50,000, I got 50,000. As per the policy of the bank, obtaining documentary proof for sanctioning loans for agricultural activities, waiver of loans up to dash. Very good. It is 1.60 lakhs. Right? As per the policy of the bank, medium term loan, I told you. I told you very clearly, medium starts with uh, three years. Before that, short will be there. That is 35 months. Minimum is 6 months. 6 to 35 is short. 35, 36 to 3 year to 3 to 5 is medium. Answer is 3 to 5. So, answer is 2. Crop production loans. Amount is carried with scale of finance. This scale of decided by whom? Scale of finance, who will decide? District level technical committee, DLTC. For the crop production, generally the applicant has to bring margin for the loans Above rupees 2.5 lakhs. Generally, KCC loans above 1.6 lakhs. How much margin he has to bring? Generally, KCC and all embed margin will be embedded. 
in the DLTC. But all other crop loans, we have to above 1.6 lakhs, margin is nil, security is nil, but above 1.6 lakhs, we have to take margin is 15 to 25%. As per the agriculture policy, what is the margin required for loans towards MCV, HCV? See, question is with regard to MCV, HCV. I told you in the slide also, other than MCV, HCV is small, 10%. If MCV, HCV means, answer is 25%. What is the loan amount for branches have to compulsory adopt online charge creation for agriculture loans? I told you very clearly this concept. Now online Telangana is there. How much amount? Up to 1.6, no, no security is required, only hypothecation of crops. But online charges available in Telangana, Andhra, where land records, I told you 1.6 to 2.5 lakhs is the answer. Now, where there is a tie-up arrangement is available, sugar factory, tobacco board for recovery, then up to what amount can be extended without insisting on mortgage? I told you very clearly, when there is a tie-up or tripartite agreement with these three people, up to 3 lakhs is the answer. Fresh agriculture loans up to dash amount aggregate to a borrower individual can be sanctioned by respective sanctioning authority irrespective of the risk grade as per bank agriculture policy. See, I'm talking about branch manager. We discussed RO head also. Branch manager up to 10 lakhs he can do. RO head up to 25 lakhs, right? Oh, I think I'm now, fresh loans about 10 lakh to 25 lakhs in aggregate to a borrower can be sanctioned by whom for high risk grade as per a bank agriculture policy. It is RO head CAC. RO head only can do up to 25 lakhs. Post sanction visit is to be undertaken within dash of disbursement to ascertain end use as per bank agriculture policy. See, I told you very clearly if the question comes with regard to waiver, waiver of bills, then it is within 15 days. If normal question comes, normal any loans means it is, answer is 15 to 30 days, not 15 days. AEO, AEO promoting managers can give valuation certificate for agriculture loans up to DAS. I told you, AEO, AEO managers are, they can give more amount. That is, that is 30 lakhs. Normal managers up to 20 lakhs. KCC loans. Limit should not exceed dash percent of value of the produce as per bank policy. I told you it should not be more than, should not exceed 50% value of the produce. For dairy loans, finance of the age of the buffalo cow dash cow lactation, even their economic life is 5 to 10 as per bank policy. Maximum 3 lactations. Undertake appraisal of high value agriculture client seeking financial assistance under our bank. Project appraisal for outside the client for, for new customers. Project cost, new customers. I told you two answers. New customers means amount will be lesser amount. So here answer is 200 lakhs because here the answer is applicable is 200. Okay. Modified interest subvention scheme. Recently government changed. RBI changed. Term loans and agriculture 2023-24. Rate of interest subvention to lending institutions is dash and prompt repayment incentive is dash. First, they will give something back to government. We have to charge 7%. You remember, na? We have to charge 7%. 1.5% they will give you back and 3% is prompt incentive. Okay. Okay, friends. Uh, I think I have finished in time. Okay, this presentation is already available in the website of CBOA. You can download. Still, other than this, I have already given the drive. From there also, you can download. Hope you have enjoyed the session. Not enjoyed. You have learned something from my session of agriculture. See, I have covered everything in agriculture. If examiner is coming in 2022 circular, which is doing for the last five years, you are going to answer each and every question, whatever it comes in the examination hall. So it's 9, 10, 9, 11. Tomorrow, we will cover retail policy. With that, RAM will be over. Okay. And uh, remaining sessions, credit monitoring, gold loan is very important. That I will cover in my next sessions. Okay. Official language also, I'll try to cover. Okay. So, sir, are you there, sir? If you don't have any doubt, you can exit the session. No problem.
please upload your tomorrow class in CBOA website, sir. Today itself, you are telling that you are going out. Huh? Sir, are you there, sir? Yeah. Uh, stop the recording, sir. Yeah, I'll close the recording. Okay. Yes, friends, any questions are there on the topic? You can, you can put, in, put in chat box. I will answer. If you are 